constitution. Um, after that discussion, I will then speak about lessons learned as a Liberian diplomat. And hopefully those lessons will be lessons that you can pick up and use them without necessarily having to go through all of the experience that I had to do to learn these lessons. So first, let's begin by discussing the issue of the Negro Clause. Why do we have that clause in our Constitution? And the answer to that is that it lies in our history as a nation. We have to look at our history in order to answer that question. And so, there were two precipitating events that led to the founding of Liberia. And let me say that as I go through this, one of the things I will attempt to do is to eradicate certain myths that we have about Liberia. You know, there are things we hear and we believe them over generations and generations and we just take them to be fact. But then when we do an in-depth in scholarly research into the topic, we start to find out that some of the issues that we thought we knew about, we knew little about. So what were the events that led to the founding of Liberia? I think there were two major events that happened in history. The first one was a ban on the transatlantic slave trade. Great Britain banned the Atlantic slave trade in 1807. So all of the trading in human cargo between Africa across the Atlantic was banned by Great Britain. And at that time, I think we all know that Great Britain was the number one maritime power in the world. So they had the capacity 